Hey physics, this is Miss Satterly. So we have one more week of school and I'm going to do one more very simple lesson on just some very simple friction problems. And then when we come back from break, we'll get into force and um, we'll bring back friction. So what friction is, friction is the force that opposes the motion between two materials. There are different types of friction. First one is called static friction. This is the resistance force that must be overcome to start an object in motion or to start an object's motion. So that's when an object is just sitting still on a surface. Next one is sliding friction. The problems that we will do will deal with uh, sliding friction. This is the, no, oh, that was good. This is the resistance force between two surfaces already in motion. something is moving across the surface or sliding across the surface. Next one I want to talk about is rolling friction. This one should be pretty obvious what that means, but that is the resistance force between a surface and a rolling object. And our last one is fluid friction. A fluid is any kind of liquid or gas. Uh, you can probably think of fluid as water, but gas is considered a fluid as well. This is the resistance force of a gas or a liquid. As an object passes through it. And just so we have an example, air resistance is an example of fluid friction. So if you throw a, um, a sheet of paper, you drop it in the air, it kind of floats back and forth, and that's because it's actually hitting those air molecules, and it's causing a resistance, and it's not just able to drop straight down. So those are the different types of friction. Now, friction has a very simple equation. It is... FF equals mu FN, and we're going to talk about what all of this means. So this is our, going to be our frictional force, and in our problems, it's going to be our sliding friction. This right here is called a mu. This is the coefficient of friction. And that last one, normal uh, force, is what Fn is, so normal force. A lot of the times we're going to have weight, which is 
going to be our normal force and we'll be given a mass and then we have to use w equals mg in order to solve the equation because weight is in newtons and that's what we need our force to be in so let's go over uh, units really quick so force is always in newtons and newtons coefficient does not have a unit, the coefficient of friction. And that's because the formula to find the coefficient of friction is mu equals frictional force over normal force. And if you have n for both of those, they're going to cancel out and leave you with no units. If I want to solve for normal force, then that would be my frictional force divided by my mu. So these are the three equations that we will use. We want to solve for frictional force. FF equals mu Fn. We want to solve for our coefficient of friction. That is our frictional force divided by our normal force. And if we have to solve for our normal force, it's frictional force divided by R mu. Okay, so I'm going to jump into a couple practice problems, and then there will be a homework assignment with this. If you have any questions on it, of course, let me know, but we're going to do just some easy things to end out the semester. So my first example here, Brian is walking through a school cafeteria, but does not realize that the person in front of him has just spilled his glass of chocolate milk. As Brian, who weighs 420 newtons, steps in the milk, the coefficient of sliding friction between Brian and the floor is suddenly reduced to 0 0.040. What is the force of sliding friction between Brian and the slippery floor? Like always, we always start with our given. What information are we given in the problem? We have a value of 420 newtons. It says that that is what he weighs, so this will be our normal force. We have a coefficient of friction, which is 0 0.040. And we want to solve for our frictional force. I'll put a question mark. Again, after our given, I always want you to write your equation, which would be FF equals mu Fn. And then you're going to plug in your information, 0 0.040 times 420 newtons. So my frictional force is going to be 0 0.040. Comes out to be 16.8. If you can see from the problem here, we have two sig figs here, two sig figs here. That zero isn't going to count because there's no decimal place. So we need two sig figs in our answer, so we're going to round that up to 17 newtons. And this would be the correct answer, and then this would be the correct units. Units should be easier this time since we only have one unit or a lack of unit. So it's either going to be in newtons or no unit at all. Let's do another problem. While redecorating her apartment, Kitty slowly pushed an 82 kilogram china cabinet across the wooden dining room floor, which resists the motion with a force of friction of 320 newtons. What is the coefficient of sliding friction between the china cabinet and the floor? So we are given a mass of 82 kilograms, which we're going to have to convert into a weight, which would be our normal force. And then we are given a frictional force of 320 newtons, and we are want to solve for our coefficient of friction. That's our given. 
So we have to do, this is a two-step problem. First, we have to find our normal force, which is weight, which is mg, which would be 82 kilograms times 9.81 meters per second squared. That problem is going to have... Um, Eight hundred and four newtons. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to make that a zero, which I should have done in the beginning. So eight hundred and four newtons is our frictional. I'm sorry, our normal force. So now we use this number to find our mu. So mu equals. our frictional force over normal force. So we have both of those values. We have 320 newtons over 804 newtons. I need to have two sig figs. So we have a three and a two here, and then the zero is not significant because there's no decimal place. So my answer, answer is gonna be zero. Um, this is what it comes out to be. So to make this proper sig figs, it'll be 0 0.40. Now, just to show you the whole purpose of sig figs when you're doing measured quantities, if I was going to actually keep this at, um, two sig figs, so that would be 8.0 times 10 to the second, which is just 800. So if I actually do 320 divided by 800 newtons, you will see that my answer is 0 0.40. So that is why we use sig figs, because that small amount is not significant in changing our actual answer. So that's one of the whole purposes of using that. Okay, so that is actually uh, just, I'm just going to do two examples because that's all you need for this. Now, when we come back from break, we're going to add angles and stuff, and that's going to affect the equation, but we're just going to save that for uh, January. So again, our, just to remind you, here are the equations. You're usually not going to do this, but you might. If you do, there you have it. So um, frictional force equals mu times normal force, and then your coefficient of friction, mu equals FF over FN. So those are the two equations that you will have to work with, or three equations that you might run into. Okay, if you have any questions on this, please let me know. The homework is posted with this video. So watch the short video and then do your homework assignments. And again, uh, we will have a, a, a quiz just to kind of end the year, but that will be on Thursday. And that will be the last assignment. So again, if you have any questions, let me know.